Hi guys! So I thought I would make a video to let you guys know how you could figure out your kibby type without using the kibby body types test. So usually I read my comments and I find that a lot of people are asking how do I tell if I am theatrical romantic or soft dramatic or uh, soft dramatic or soft natural or soft classic or theatrical romantic. So these are all different subtypes and different types. So nobody is asking, how do I tell the difference between soft gamine and flamboyant gamine? So those are both gamines. But usually people are asking basically, am I a natural or am I a uh, romantic? Or am I a natural or am I a dramatic? So this is maybe a fun activity you could do at home if you have all of these types of clothes or you could go shopping, shopping, and um, you can just tr grab all of these clothes on some Saturday afternoon and try them on in the dressing room and take photos. And I always say take photos because I feel like it's so different when we take photos from when we look in the mirror. So have you ever been in that situation where you put something on and you think you look one way and then when you see photos of yourself later you find that you didn't look how you expected. So that's why I think photos are so much better than simply looking in the mirror. So try on all of these different outfits that I'm going to show you and take photos of yourself all at chest level and see which one looks the best on you and you will know which major category of kibby types you're in, which of the major five you're in. So let's get into it. So I on all of the 13 kibby types clothing recommendations, but I think that can get a little bit cumbersome. So what you could do is you can just try on clothing from each of the major categories. So gamine, classic, natural, romantic, and dramatic. Yes. Um, so what happens when someone who is with a subtype of the major category, a subtype of the type, wears their, not exactly their own lines, but wears their type's lines? So Sophia Loren is the classic example of a soft dramatic, and you can see her here looking pretty amazing in simply a dramatic outfit. So it's not her absolute best look, but she looks pretty good. And when you see her in this, it's very hard to find her not looking amazing because she always wears her lines, but I think this look is a good example of some romantic lines that she's wearing there, especially with the makeup. And you can see that the previous look in Dramatic did look a lot better on her than this romantic inspired look. So the next example I have is Selena Gomez. She is soft natural. And you can see that when she wears simply natural lines, which is her larger subtypes category, she's soft natural, she's wearing natural lines, you can see that she looks pretty good here. Um, as soon as she puts on some some sort of dramatic classic types of lines, some, something very different, you can see that it looks a little bit separate from her and she doesn't really look as good as she did in the natural lines. So here we have Olivia Munn. So Olivia is a dramatic classic on Kibby's list and you can see her wearing classic lines here and she looks pretty great. And as soon as she puts on something very different from her own type, something maybe a little bit more almost gamine, she does look a little bit separate from that garment and I think she looks much better in classic, even though she's dramatic classic herself, as long as she's wearing her own subtype or rather her own category, her own type, which is classic, then she looks she looks great. So now we have Rachel McAdams. So Rachel McAdams looks amazing and romantic even though she is theatrical romantic. So here she is in romantic, she looks amazing, she looks adorable, and as soon as she puts on soft dramatic, I think that that looks a little bit separate from her. Because remember, soft dramatic is a subtype of dramatic, so that is going to look actually quite separate from her, and you can see that those large designs on the dress really overpower her. So I think she looked much better in this romantic dress than she did in the soft dramatic dress, because of course she is a subtype of romantic. And finally, we have Jenna Coleman. She is a soft gamine, and here she is wearing a gamine dress, still looking really great, and it really suits her well. It's not her absolute best, best look, but because she is a subtype of gamine, she's going to look great in gamine, and here you can see her, and it's very hard to find her wearing 
not her own lines because she often wears soft candy lines. It took me so long to find any examples, but this is an example of her wearing some natural lines. And you can see how separate that dress looks from her. It's really uh, not complimenting her very much, and I think she looked much better in Gamine, even though she is soft candy. So I hope I've sort of made my case and made my point. Um, let's get into it. So my suggestion is that you try on, you know, you get the outfits together and you can do this at home. You can do any kinds of outfits. I'm going to suggest dresses, not because of any specific reason other than that they're easier. They're just one item that you put on versus trying to put together an entire outfit. And especially if you're going shopping or shopping and trying on all of these different types of dresses, then you, it would take so long to go shopping and pick out an entire gamine outfit and then an entire romantic outfit. It's easier to just go to the dress section and get one of each kind. So here are the five types of dresses or types of outfits. Again, you can do this in any kinds of outfits, I'm simply giving examples of dresses because they're easier. So you could do this kind of dress for a your dramatic sample dress. So make sure that it doesn't have waist definition, make sure that it's a very stiff fabric, make sure it has some, some sort of v-neck, and make sure it is not fitted at the cuffs or fitted at the knee or really fitted, but make sure it's stiff but not fitted. Right, so that fittedness is actually a yin characteristic. So make sure it's not fitted at the cuffs, goes straight down. So that can be your dramatic dress. The next we have is classic. So this is a classic dress, it's very simple, it's pretty straightforward. Make sure that there are no harsh angles, stay away from v-necks, stay away from things that are extremely, um, extremely, extremely fitted because that is starting to get toward romantic or something. Um, just do something extremely simple, fabric not too stiff, not too shiny, nothing extravagant, just as simple as possible, and uh, no, nothing frilly. Basic classic dress, as simple as possible. So that can be your second, second thing that you try on. Next, try on natural. So natural, I think sort of the, the, the best way to try on a natural dress is to have it be draped and long because adding that length, remember the more elements of that type that you have in your outfit, the more it's going to look like that type. So if it's separate from you, it's going to look even worse on you and then if it is your type, it's gonna look even better. So one of the elements of natural is having that elongated line unconstructed. So try on an unconstructed um, draped dress. Make sure there are no severe angles. Make sure there's no color blocking, not overly intricate, just very simple and draped uh, like this one here and see if that looks good. Stay away from v-necks for the natural dress and stay away from anything fitted obviously, unconstructed, draped. So that can be your natural dress. Next we have gamine. So you can try on a gamine dress sort of like this one and I think this would look amazing on any gamine, flamboyant gamine, soft gamine, regular gamine, um, just like all the other ones would look great. That's the whole point of this exercise on any of the subtypes, right? So make sure that you have uh, very crisp, bright designs and make sure that the, the dress is very fitted and sort of, yeah, fitted. It doesn't have to have waist emphasis. As long as it has a lot of those elements of gamine, then you are good to go. And finally, we have romantic. So try out something very frilly, very soft, delicate fabrics, intricate. Uh, try on something with waist emphasis. Definitely make sure that that romantic dress you try on has waist emphasis because that's one of the main characteristics of romantic. If it has even some cleavage emphasis, that would be even better, another element of romantic to add. Make sure it's pretty fitted, nothing flowy, nothing elongated. I would say go for a shorter dress, maybe to the knee, that's very frilly and, and soft and has, uh, has waist emphasis, and I think that you will be good to go for your romantic, your romantic sample. So, those are the five dresses I suggest you guys to try on and take a look at which one looks the best on you. Remember, take the photos and take a look at which one looks best on you. 
and see what you come up with. You might be surprised. Also make sure that you don't hate one of the dresses and then love another one of the dresses because I feel like that will skew anyone's results. Uh, just make sure they're regular, regular dresses that you kind of like equally and take a look at what looks the best on you objectively. So dramatics, of course, are going to look the best in dramatic and it's going to follow their lines very well and they are going to look very separate from romantic and that's the opposite of of dramatic um, romantics are going to look the most separate from dramatic they're going to look like that is way too stiff on them naturals are going to look their worst in gamine in my opinion now of course these are simply my opinions and my observations but i wanted to give you guys some of my thoughts on this i think naturals do look um, very separate from gamine clothing because gamine is all about fittedness and naturals are all about unconstructed clothing, long lines, and gamines have short lines and constructed clothing. So uh, gamine and natural is very, very, very different. So that's that. So classics, I think, look their worst in natural. So here is Nina Dobrev and she is wearing uh, a very unconstructed, loose type of dress, and because classics are so balanced and, you know, they need a very neat look, and if they don't have that neat look, they can look very uh, not put together, so that's probably why, in my experience, in my opinion, I've seen that classics look the worst in natural lines. So, finally, gamines look their worst, in my opinion, in romantic lines, actually. So you would think maybe gamines look worse in dramatic lines or in natural lines. Um, I think that gamines could look kind of cute in natural lines. They do look, technically look their worst in natural lines, but because sometimes gamines can be small or sometimes it can bring out the sharp angularity of their face, some people might like that look on themselves and that might confuse them and they might say, well, actually, I'm a natural when they're really a gamine. So I don't think that, I don't think that um, Gamine's worst look is natural. I think that romantic can look very awkward on them. So that's why even though it's, it's not actually that bad, that might be something that you will be more aware of if you see a photo of yourself looking a little bit awkward. Um, I think Gamine's will feel like they look the worst in romantic lines. So that is it, you guys. Let me know if you try this out or let me know if you try it out at home. And obviously, if you uh, if you already are between two types, like dramatic and natural, then try these recommendations as well. If you're between, definitely if you're between theatrical romantic and soft dramatic, this would be really helpful for you. Of course, you don't have to try on all the five outfits. If you're between two types, then just try the, the two main categories of the clothing and take some photos and see what happens. So that's it, that's all I have to say. Let me know if this was helpful for you, let me know how it went. And um, thank you for watching, check out my website. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, bye.